Hello Cancer, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your March 2022 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please let me wish you Happy St. Patty's Day. May it be filled with abundance, joy, bliss, ease, everything else that you can imagine. I hope it's a great day for you. It's one of my favorite days. And also, don't forget, here in the States, it is Spring's uh, Equinox. I think I called it a solstice on one of the readings. Sorry about that, but it's a time to plant your seeds. And here in the States, I believe it's March 20th on my calendar. And some it says March 21st. So get ready for that if you can. Um, also, I'd like to remind you, this is a general reading. If you'd like one just about you, I've included my soulstarbliss.com. Uh, website down below and I've also included my friends and colleagues um, readings by Judy J-U-D-I-E dot com you can book me there also I work with Tim and Judy we do um, gosh we've done classes readings healings um, I've known them for years they're good friends but they're also really um, good workers and they also healers and, and cleansers stop by their website check it out they do have other readers there also that are awesome I think you'll be quite happy if you do. So let's take a look here and see what is coming up for cancer. See, wow, I just love this. It looks like there's pain from the past that's going to be dealt with, let go, not stuffed down anymore. It's like, okay, I've had all I can take. I can't take one more minute of one more day of this. I am letting it go. And that even when, if it's forgiveness or just, just letting it go of whatever it is, it's really gonna help you find that happiness and peace that you seek seems like those of you that have decided it's better to be alone than be with others, I think some of you are figuring out that, you know what, maybe it is time for uh, to open to a relationship. Even if you're with uh, somebody and you've closed yourself, closed yourself off, it just looks like there's going to be a big healing in this area for a lot of folks and uh, changes that are going to be made. So there's some changes already in the works for a lot of us. And that's a good thing, and they're going to come quickly. Just open to receive them. Um, it's the way of thinking, a way of changing, maybe something like that. And what could be, you know, you move too, it could be a change. Like I'm just saying, I feel like for this month, Cancer, there's going to be a lot of changes for a lot of you. Alms dispensed with justice means that there's going to be improvement or have enough money. It's going to be nice just to have enough money, let alone uh, make some extra money. That could be good, too. And it says, don't worry about your finances. When we worry about anything, especially lack of, we get more lack of, usually. Um, um, if someone has been trying to take something from you and you've had an argument over it, do the best you can <laughs> to set them free. Um, because energy of, you know, push me, pull me, push me, pull me. Because I feel like whatever you're... And this isn't for everyone. Whatever you're arguing over, if it's your house or your money or your life or your marriage or your what you know life together, sit down, try to work it out. If you can't, you're gonna have to let some stuff go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It says here, Ace of Wands. New beginnings are possible this month. Cancer, are you ready? Are you ready to move forward? Make some choices to say, I'm gonna leave you know all this chaos behind. Because it really looks like you're setting yourself up to do that. And it's going to be so good. So good for you to just, you know, like, instead of waking up the morning and saying, oh, my God, I got to go to work. It's like, oh, today is a new day. Um, is it happen overnight? I don't know. But a lot of you have been working on it for a while. It could. Those of you that are wanting to move or thinking about it, it says, you know, do your homework. If you're wanting to move across country, you know, and do your homework. If you're wanting to move across the street, do your homework. It says find out, especially if you're selling a house, make sure you know what it's worth and then know what you'd have to pay to if you wish to buy another one. Or even if you're moving from East Coast to West Coast, the rent, for instance, could be totally different than where you're at. But if you're really wanting to make those changes, now is the time to do it. But don't fly by the seat of your pants is what I heard. It says make a plan and then do the best you can to stick with it. It says and also don't focus on the past. We can learn from the past. I'm saying forget the past, but I'm just saying that, you know, you have to let go of what didn't work or what is no longer working, but you still have something to work with. It says, you know, so don't be given up. Also, those of you that are in a hurry, for instance, for meditation or making a choice or visit, not visiting, having counsel of some kind, hear the whole thing. It seems like some of you are in a hurry, maybe getting up too soon or in a sense, leaving the table and there's more to be said. 
Let's see what else we've got here. Excuse me. <coughs> Spirit's got your back. Don't ever forget that. You know, a lot of people think they're walking this earth walk alone. Makes my heart sad for them because you aren't. Maybe things aren't perfect for you, but you know what? One step at a time can change things. Those of you that are wanting to get back to work, uh, that's ha that's going to be happening. I don't know if you were laid off or let go. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of folks returning to work this month. And some people are going to have new opportunities, new jobs, things they wanted to do. So remember, if the tower came and the storm knocked everything out of you, like you lost your job, maybe even lost your house, it's time for a new beginning. Best you can. Put your best foot forward because I just feel like there's so much positive change here for you. And it's so overdue. But excuses are gone now. So it says there are going to be reasons this month to celebrate. Embrace them. And yes, they're for you too. It's like, oh yeah, that's for everybody else. No, this is uh, opportunities for all. The energy shift, especially with that spring uh, coming up, take advantage of that energy. Here it says, make your plans for the future. Excuses are gone now. And it's time to make things about you. You have worked diligently, so many of you, it looks like, and have put yourself last. Try to step up and take care of you because when you do, it'll be a lot easier to help others. With that said, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by to see me and I'll see you again next month.